सब हुआ है उदम होता है The definition for academic, it means of related to or characteristic of a school, especially one in higher learning. Did, did you know that? Of course, of course you didn't. Of course you didn't. Well, would you like to find out some more? I think well, I would like to too. Take it away, Christina. Provided it has a cause and effect relationship. The part of the video that you saw brought you all the way up to uh, the, the uh, fall of the Bastille, which is short, just short of an all-out uh, revolution. So, Mr. Avenue, we're just like the we greatest world history teacher in school. <laughs> World history, uh, to me, it's not only my job, it ha does happen to be a big hobby of mine as well. Um, I am certified to teach all the social sciences, and certainly there are advantages to teaching seniors or teaching some of the other subjects. Um, but world history, to me, is extremely fascinating. I like to travel. I've visited so many of the places that I teach about. And again, it is uh, a true hobby. I have great deal of interest in world history, more so than any of the other subjects that uh, that uh, I could be teaching. Yeah. And what do you like most about your job here at Piper? I have a lot of fun. I mean, I, I actually look forward to coming to work every day. I'm not crazy about waking up at 6 in the morning, but uh, I come to work every day smiling. I look forward to seeing a lot of these kids here. Um, for the most part, you know, even on a bad year, if I have 100 and 50 kids a semester, 300 kids a year. At the end of the year, I look back and you know I really can't complain because if you have 295 kids that you would gladly take again the next year, how could you complain? Right now, I have about 120 kids, and you know even though I might have differences on occasion with one or two of them, um, I would gladly take all 120 again next year. And uh, you know, so I, I really like Piper High School. I like the kids here. And uh, you know, I, I do look forward to coming to work every day. And uh, you know, I think this school is a much better place than we sometimes think that it is. Sometimes the kind of things that get everyone's attention, especially the attention of some of the news stations like Channel Seven, and, uh, to name one, <laughs> are you know some of the stories that are a little more glamorous, involving things like violence. But you know, if if you're part of a program here at Piper High School, like you are in TV productions, you know that there are a lot of good things going on here as well. And what other subjects other than history do you like to read and write about? Other than history, uh, just I like to watch the news a lot, so I do follow political events and um, events that have to do with the economy and things of that nature. If I wasn't teaching world history, I would probably want to teach uh, government and economics. Um, American history, I enjoy, um, and uh, some subjects are a little bit uh, too deep for me, that I, like sociology and psychology, there are much better people that could teach those subjects, but uh, I enjoy reading mostly about history and about current events, particularly in the areas of uh, government and economics. And if you could be any historical person, who would you pick and why? I've, ever since I was a little kid, uh, I've always enjoyed the Indiana Jones series. Um, so I might be tempted to be some type of archaeologist, maybe like a Heinrich Schliemann or someone like that. Uh, someone who uh, goes around the ancient world digging and um, finding ancient places and learning about ancient times. Um, probably close second um, would be General George S. Patton, who was a general uh, for uh, for uh, an American general in World War II. I've always been fond of his. And the movie Patton, which was made in the 1970s, was uh, a big part of my uh, childhood. I even uh, named one of my pets uh, General Patton. I was so obsessed as a child with with uh, with, with them. And um, so probably General Patton or some kind of archaeologist. All right. Thank you for talking with us. No! No! What? I had enough of that score already! No! No yeah, more academic! But there's this one part. No! No!
We're moving on to the sports segment now. We're back on the sports segment with the track and fields coach, Coach Beverly. Coach Beverly, how long have you been coaching Piper High School? <laughs> Since 1984. Dang, that was and um, what accomplishments have you made during those times? We made better college than cross country and track and field. Uh, one of the biggest compliments was last year when Kedrick Wimberley finished fourth in the state and uh, he was also the regional champ. And last year we had our boys cross country, the first time ever qualified for the state championship. Everybody said, oh bro. Hey, how's it going? I'm Lee Richards and we're reporting live from the Piper football field. Except there's no one playing football because, you know, they're in class right now. I'm trying to look for a football player, but, you know, I really can't find him. David Mohan! How's it going? How's it going, sir? How's it going, sir? How's it going, sir? Do you mind if I ask you a few questions about, you know, football? That's that Piper? Fine. That's fine. So, this is David Mohan, one of, one of our star quarterbacks. He's the best one I know. Anyways, yeah, so, um, David Mohan. You guys are doing spring football now, right? Yeah, it's great to uh, in spring football. Yeah? How's that going? What is that, like practice? What do you guys do in spring football? Um, basically, it's just to get prepared for the upcoming season. You know, it's just a little bit of football, and then there's one game, it's a jamboree, and it should be really good, so yeah. Yeah? So, you know, how are things going with the team? Everybody doing all right? Everybody healthy? Well, the team looks pretty good. Um, we got some receivers coming back, veterans, um, all-state receiver, J.J. Cox coming back. We have some veteran O-linemen, and... Uh, on the other side of the ball, defense looks well too, so I think we should be pretty good this year. <laughs> yeah? How do things look for next season? What do you think? What's your prediction on next season? What do you think we're going to do? I, I think this team has the ability to go 10-0, and actually. State champions all the way. Play Bryant School football. So, so we're going to take it off? Oh, we're going to take it. All right, what's the equivalent of high school Super Bowl? What is it for you guys? Well, we won the district last year, and that was big first time. Since 96, we won the district. And uh, so that was big, but we, we'd like to step it up another level this year. We want to win states. States would be good. What, what's after states? States is it. And once you win states, you win states. Uh, they do have national rankings, but there's no national tournament. So you win state. That, that's like the Super Bowl. So, so we're going to states. Oh, we're going. Oh, all, right, all right, then. Thanks a lot, David. All right, you have a good you. one. Ooh. That was David Vaughn, one of our few proud, bold, Football players, yeah. We love our team. Piper. Or I'll let you go. Dan, Ezra, your Regis segment, the wrestling segment of this Piper documentary. Over there, the self proclaimed beast of Piper. Let's see if we can get a word. What do you want? Just wanted an interview, sir. Did I say you could have an interview? Did I say you could have an interview? No, you didn't. I got permission. From who? Me! Now you're getting me! Sorry. So, how was your season this year, Danny? Our season was pretty good. We came second in the district, and uh, hopefully next year we'll win districts. I'm trying to. I did you did, not the team. You what? I defy it like I just told you. You don't do that, boy. You know a lot of wrestling moves now? I mean, yeah, I know a lot of wrestling moves, Chris. Yeah. You got good arsenal wrestling moves? Yes! As a matter of fact, oh, yeah. I put you in a pencil. Thank you, Danny, Daniel Larson, Happy Wrestler, I'm Chris, sign it off. Uh, and welcome back to the... Oh. One, two, three, he's out, in the winner of that rock. And now that sports segment's over, yeah. it's BTN for you. With who? Yarnell.
When people think of news shows, they think of 48 Hours, Dateline, 2020. Hey, hey stop, stop, stop. Uh, security, security. Get him off the set. See, Ezra got it all wrong. It wasn't time for the BTN segment. That's why he don't host it. That's why I'm doing all the magical work. It's time for the weight training program with Fencita.